get some properties in. Ah. True hippie. Queer clinch. We talk about the lyrics for renting. Big up MMD done the whole thing. Renting. I've been in this flat like two times, but I'm back third time because it wasn't accepted. Now, obviously, as a renting, you know, as an estate agent, you go to some flats to do viewings with people. Obviously, if it's a bit of a tricky one, you're going to go there more than one time. Obviously, you get a deal, didn't want pets, all these types of things, you know, you can't, you can't go through with it, so you know, then. The landlord said that the bread was right, you just won't let pets in, so you better get back to the drawing board and go get better with chest in. I was like, that's interesting. So obviously, the landlord's basically telling me, yeah, good work, you got someone in there now, but they're not good enough. They need pets and all that type of stuff. So you need to go back, get someone else. It's all mad. And put hard work into this, you know, and you're telling me that. Extras. I just opened up that thing right there and I'm serving breakfast. Bitch says she need a flat with a lift, not stairs, because she's looking all pregnant. Shit, I forgot to get access there on piss complaints from the tenants. Now, obviously, when you go to view a house, if someone's living there, you're going to have to tell them before you go there so that they're not shocked when you appear like, oh, my days, why is he in this house? So, obviously, if you forget to tell them 24 hours in advance, they're going to write a couple complaints and that you might get cussed when you show up and that, you know what I mean? So, obviously, if you forget, you've got to apologise and all these things. Yeah, I they see when I've gone in that flat now, they've just started shouting, Get out, what are you doing in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm phoning your office now. But yeah, trust me, be careful out there, man. <laughs> when it's empty, there's blessings. Prick, wasting my time in a crib when you're gonna feel reference. Should have never bought this viewing, but I did, and I'm vexing. So, when you book a viewing, you gotta register people's details. Now, in order for them to be successful with going through more references and stuff, you need to filter them properly. Where are they working? How much are they earning? Yeah? If you don't do that properly, you're going to waste your time and you're going to go on a viewing with people that's not going to get the, they're not going to get the, 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 the flat. You know what I mean? It's, it's just not going to go through. So obviously, you got to keep it moving. Filter, filter the people properly. Like, imagine if it all worked out, them bands would have had me flexing. Flats all over the ends, my three bed peng, and I go out and strut them. And that's certain. I fuck jump from house to house, then I rent it out, because it's coming like Kermit. That's a bit self explanatory. You know what I mean? I'm jumping, I'm renting. You know how it goes. <laughs> it's coming like Kermit. Bitch says she need a gaff with a bit of sofa, so it's looking all furnished. But she never offered the asking price for a flat, bro, said, is it worth it? I got mad because the man's been working. Now I'm earning. Yeah, now I'm earning. I just got a view and that cancelled when I'm outside like I didn't confirm it. Says she only need one bed that's next to the station that she would purchase. So I found her a one bed that's next to the station. It was all perfect. Now this bitch says she need a flat with a window grid and it's coming with curtains. That now, obviously I've all spoken to this woman, you know what I mean? And she's telling me she wants one flat, a one bed next to the station, I patterned it, you get me? I've spoken to the landlord on the same day, he agreed the fee, you know what I mean? Then obviously, she's just telling me, oh, she needs windows glazed and stuff, he only got single glazed in there, you get me? Everything was real, you know what I mean? It's just taking my time in the crib and you're gonna feel reference. I wonder if she knows she's jarring, maybe she's done it on purpose. One of the landlords said there's a couple of other men on the job, but he wasn't assertive. I'm gonna paint thing book viewings as deals I'm doing cause they like flirting. Now obviously that's just the salesman in me. You get me? Girls, you know you wanna come and rent your crib, you know who's there for you. The number will be in the DM. They got Instagram, Twitter and all that, you get me? <laughs> Do it right, shoes, suit and tie, and I'm tucking my shirt in. Yeah man, in the morning, wake up, freshen up, that shirt's on, ironed, shoes, suit and tie, tucking it in, you know. Get me, got grown folk looking at me. Got your baby mama looking at me. <laughs> yeah. When I talk thorns in a property, he thinks I'm king, but my nigga's still learning. Let me put your name on the system, one listing, then the winner's the verdict. And if a landlord moves down with the keys, oh please, this bridges I'm burning. When the landlord is moving silly with the keys now, we can't go and do viewings anytime that we need it, you know? So the landlord, someone shout the landlord for me and let him know he needs to just pattern up his tenants so he can get keys and go do the viewings and rent his property for him. Can't bean it, 
and seen it. Never can I put on a flat, compete with a man and get defeated. Me and my ones, them hungry. If I'm eating, they're eating. Bitch says she need contractor to come to the flat because the shower been leaking. Now you see this one. This is one of the most annoying phone calls that you can get. You're just chilling in the office, you booked your viewings and that. About to step out and that, the phone rings. And someone's on the phone shouting, oh, it's been leaking. It's been leaking. Listen, the phone's a landlord. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the contractor to you. That's cool, one thing that I hate is a fool that calls to talk for no reason. Bitch, I'm about to hang this phone up now, I'm in a meeting. If a landlord steps in the office, cracks looking polished, they get up and greet him. Never know what's kept in his pocket, rent going pop and you know that he's creaming. Like me, I'm trying to get some profit, get some knowledge and get some peas in. Yeah, them bangs. <laughs>